This video is sponsored by Headspace. Sign up for a free 60 day Headspace trial today using this code right here, Garrett60. Oh, hello. Would you like to hear a little story that makes absolutely no sense at all? Great, because I've got one for you. Here goes. Once upon a time, in the year 2020, a slightly dumb man, me, who knew absolutely nothing about how to make music, set out on a bold and seemingly impossible journey to make music. That's right, I wanted to make a song, but I did not just want to make any old song. No. This song had to be a hit, and it also had to be made in just 24 hours time. Why 24 hours? Because up until I made that video, I had wanted to make music like my whole life, but I never did because the idea of making a song absolutely terrified me. Performing and having to sing and every aspect of it just scared me. So my strategy was that if I just put it in like 24 hours, then there's no time to like hesitate or get self-conscious. It forced me to ignore all the fear and hesitations and just make it no matter what. But 24 hours is not a lot of time. And the main thing is that I knew nothing about how to make music in any respect at all. Where's power? <laughs> oh. Now we're talking. So of course, I gathered three of my closest friends who happened to be significantly more talented than me at making music. And oh boy, was the experience wild and it was a lot. I'm a baby. <laughs> what does a baby struggle with? I can buy my own milk. But after 24 sleepless hours with nothing but coffee in our veins and a weird amount of completely unwarranted confidence, we actually pulled it off. We did it. My friends and I gave the world now I'm a baby. Look. We ain't the same, cause I got no shame. Which is a rap song, sung from the perspective of three overly confident babies. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's what we made, okay? How about the womb? Hop in the jet. It exists, and yes, you can stream it everywhere. Now listen, I'm a humble man, okay? But at the same time, I have ears. And if I'm being completely honest, I'll say it. Now I'm a baby was fired, all right? <laughs> It was. It was. What? The Louis Vuitton bag all packed. Apple prices in a smaller Louis bag. Little oh, and the success of Now I'm a Baby. I mean, I'm talking one Grammy nomination, countless millions of dollars of streaming and radio revenue, and the respect of my family and friends and music critics all around the world. All things that Now I'm a Baby absolutely did not accomplish <laughs> at, at all. But, but, hear me out. It did go to number three on the iTunes hip hop charts for like 17 hours. Just 17 hours, but it still counts. It's something, okay? Let me have this. Just let me have this. But you know what, really? It actually did get like an accumulated 10 million streams or so. And that's something? That means that y'all liked it, right? So I figured the musical fire in me has laid dormant for long enough. And if you're curious, yes, it still absolutely terrifies me and I have no clue what I'm doing. But no time for that. Who cares? Let's get the original crew back together again and let's try to make another hit song in 24 hours. And same rules as last time, just two. Rule one, make it of course in just 24 hours time and completely from the ground up. The song concept, instrumental, beat, recording, everything, only 24 hours. And just like last time, rule number two, upload whatever we make to every single streaming platform in the entire world. And it's there forever. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, no time for anxiety. Let's go! Let's make a hit song in 24 hours. Again. <laughs> my home <laughs> as if you don't come here every day <laughs> Caleb is right there actually is he really yeah, right there look Caleb Hurst oh <gasps> is that you no. <laughs> it is. come on in oh man uh, get, 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 your, get your stuff and hurry up we have quite a project today I know we've got things to do but you have to see these little dog paws look you, you've been on that dog <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, Okay, we have a whole great amount of things to do today. I'm so excited. I have so many things prepared for you guys. Look, I shut up a camera. Andrew, look. Look at Dad. Uh, do you, are you good? I have more stuff. We, their car? Yep. Okay, all right. I'll give you the whole rundown. I've got things to do. Andrew, oh, I've got a surprise for you. I got you a big, 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 big,
me explain. Uh, Andrew, I got him a coffee too, and he wouldn't let me have a sip. That's what it was his. I drank yours. But it's fine, because I can make you some more. Okay, I'll get Caleb some more coffee, and I need to sit you both down and explain what's happening. I'm just getting some, some things. <laughs> Wait, where did that go from? Where do you keep on getting all these coffees? <laughs> uh, you won't believe what I was getting for you guys, look. Oh, yeah. I buy cheese sticks by the pound. I get five pound bags, and they last me for a couple days. <laughs> I love string cheese. Okay, I got you a coffee. Do you want cream? Nope. That's good, because I don't have any. <laughs> okay, um, you remember when we made that song, Caleb? Now I'm a baby. I love you. I'm faded off and from milk. Well, I was thinking that maybe we are going to do this again. And guess what time we have to make it in 24 hours? Well, you didn't get so, time to get. Remember last time it was kind of like messy and frantic? <laughs> it's gonna be probably worse in that department this time, but I'm more prepared. First of all, I have dressed like a music executive this time. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. You don't look like a music executive. Sure I do! Literally how? Okay, dude, <laughs> this isn't convincing to you? Hmm, let's get higher on those high hats. Higher on those. <laughs> yeah, Wait. I'm thinking the beat could be a little nicer. Does anyone want to get some food? <laughs> <gasps> Andrew, thank you for getting him that because I was going to forget that for days. I find so many rotting things in my uh, backpacks, pockets all the time. Oh, bagels? I found two bagels the other day in the bottom of my backpack. But I fed them to uh, three ducks. <laughs> what are, are the ducks? Are? They're fine. Oh, they're better than ever. Rotting. <laughs> they're not rotting. They were just hard. And when they went into the water, they got soggy and the ducks loved them. <laughs> I don't want to argue with you before we make our hit song. Listen, guess who we're meeting with later? Bruce? Hmm. Yeah, but let me just put it like this. <laughs> it's not like it was before. <laughs> the door squeaking, yawning. You're loud. I mean, he's always been an incredibly talented producer, but now he's a big boy in the big leagues producing oh, yeah. for Katy Perry. Yeah. Uh, heard of her? This isn't small potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking to you about. <laughs> We're lucky to even get him. So we have to get the song kind of coherent. We have yeah. to. Last time we like kept Bruce up to like the sunrise. We were writing our lyrics in the studio. <laughs> I'm writing my lyrics. <laughs> you wrote nothing. Well, I drew a block. Yeah. We, we have to get the song prepared. We have to be better. So I have come prepared this time. Not only with things over there that I'll show you, but something over, something right now that I'll show you. What? Whoa. <laughs> what? Wait, what? 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 Okay, unlike last time when we just had each other, welcome to the wall of inspiration. Wow. The greatest minds in music right here watching over our entire process. We have Jenna Jackson, Barbara Streisand, look the Spice Girls, um, S S uh, Sebastian from A Little Mermaid, uh, Mariah Carey. Oh, okay. And then I did another Mariah oh, Carey. Oh, <laughs> Matilda. Yeah, everyone's here. I think you need, your printer needs uh, more ink. Andrew, my printer's fine. I spent $46 doing this and, and a lot of time and a fair amount of tape. So I'd appreciate a little recognition. I've actually been meaning to print a bunch of pictures of my favorite musicians for a long time. So this was a great reason to do this. Oh, that's not all. Okay, can I show you something else that I have prepared for us? Oh, yeah. Uh, come here. Okay, get up now. Okay, I'll, Andrew, I'll do a cool entrance for this part. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. What do we need if we're gonna be making a hit song in tour? Hmm. What do we need if we're gonna be making cool a hit? Entrance. So <laughs> what do we need if we're gonna be making a hit, a hit song in 24 hours? Uh, energy! What? what? Whoa. Yes. Oh, yes. I know. Oh, yes. I've done everything. Take These it are to the same bagels. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already told you those got put into the ducks. Oh no, the waffle mix is falling over. Guess who stayed up all night dumping energy drinks into this? It's all birthday cake flavored energy drinks. And whenever you need a little bit of uh, energy for the video, you just take a glass and then you, you just drink it out. No, 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 no. Why are you helping me? What the f***? Stop! I need energy. Dude, you gotta stop. This is crazy. Okay, okay let me see. Do you understand what it's all about? Did it taste like birthday cake? But you thought it was your birthday, huh? I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
big old grapes. Yeah, so you guys know about <laughs> cheese puffs, and these are flavor blasted in case you were curious, Andrew. I will get my finger out of there. <laughs> is this just extra waffle? No, actually, it's white queso dip. Huh? Oh. Yeah, but Wait, oh. Oh. so that's waffle mix, and that's queso. Yes, and this is hot. So, if anyone is getting a little bit hungry, this is actually super easy. Oh! You just dump oh. a little bit in there. No, it's fine. Ooh. That's enough. I know how to make waffles. Okay, but you can make it. No, listen, you can make yourself. We, we may want to start working on the songs. <laughs> Actually, this is one of those things that this is really important because without these things we'd be lost. Okay, so <laughs> listen, let's just get serious for a minute, guys. So, as we all know, tempers can run a little hot. We've all heard the stories. Bands breaking up, musicians punching each other in the sides and in the face and on top of their heads. Contracts. Go me my money or I'll send a hammer to your house. <laughs> so I thought we can get around this. If any of us end up getting pissed at each other. Look, Caleb, me. We get to smash. Andrew, you can smash a plate outside of you if there's a creative disagreement. Yeah, no. Dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. It is. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get angry at each other. I we sure hope not. If you do, I don't want that to happen. It's just a precaution. Now this is really nice. Ooh, whiteboard. Remember last time? Oh, nice. We were all on our phones like a bunch of idiots. Yeah. My phone is always dying. Okay, so that wasn't too much time, right? It just took a couple hours to uh, to get all this done. Now we can figure out the song thing. Yeah. Did I talk about the cookies? Cause swipe right, that's pretty funny. Well, how much time do we have left? What we want to be to Bruce is by what five? I tell it's... Bruce when the sun sets. Okay, the time right now. Eleven forty-seven. Ooh, you did. skydiving. You did not. I did. You fell from a plane. Well, I think he jumped on purpose. The last one was only actually like 18 hours or something. We made Now I'm a Baby in 18 hours. We made that kind of fire. Imagine what we're capable of with this level of preparedness. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I'm sweating a lot. I might do a wardrobe change. I'm gonna go change, I'm really sweaty. Yeah, so I'll go set everything up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is that? Wait, no, I... That's... <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, is that my coffee? Please tell, please tell me it wasn't my coffee. I needed it, Andrew! You didn't! I needed inspiration for the wardrobe change, and, and you know you're yelling at me! You need to go break a plate, because don't take this out on me! You need a 32 ounce coffee to do anything? <laughs> Every else? time you do I, something. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and finish changing, and I'll be right back. You needed a copy to change. <laughs> well, you were gonna take it away. I had to sneak one. Take it away. It's mine. I haven't had any. Okay, that's true. Yeah, it is. Andrew, I need to change. I can't focus on this right now. That's what the plates are for. If you're angry, go smash one. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. I am me for vibe, moving to my light. I attract what's mine. I'm that QGTM type of time now. I think this is technically. I think this is technically flooded, you guys. This, the floors are gonna, the floors are gonna get all warped. Well, oh, now my knees are all covered in coffee. So uh, there's that. Not your knees. <laughs> yeah. Well. I'm not sorry, this drove a Ferrari. Big energy is bling was really blinding. Yeah. I forgot, there. A, I forgot a couple things. Okay, this is actually a really cool fit for the day, too. You look like a crocodile hunter. Okay, but, but okay, making hit song in 24 hours. Let's get cracking. What are we thinking, guys? Don't act like that. You were gone for like an hour and a half. I was, I needed to be gone for an hour and a half, Andrew. Because my, you know why? Because I left my clothes in the rain. And so I had to go out and I had to dry them. <laughs> is that such a crime? How did you leave them in the rain? Because I was doing laundry and I forgot about them because I started playing God of War. Then, then it rained in Los Angeles, which in my defense, it never does. All right, let's get going. Listen, boys, I'll be the first to admit, admit I've been a little erratic. No, no, no. I've been a little juiced up. What the fuck? God. I'm feeling comfortable and I'm calm now. You seem normal to me. That's what I was thinking. So let's just sit here and focus now, right? We're all set up, Caleb. Look at this. This is very impressive. So we're going to be expedient because we're professional because let's not, let's, let's really to remind ourselves that we've done this before and created, I'll just say it, fire.
<laughs> Wait, what? what was the peak of Now I Have a Baby's success? I was just high on the hip hop chart. It was num- wasn't it number three? It was like the iTunes hip hop charts. Yeah, what was those, it? Those are the charts. So. <laughs> well, there's also the billboards. Those are the charts that matter because they're the ones that we were highest on. Okay, so the other charts don't matter. Um, I think the Billboard hot one. Okay, wait, ever, what are we? Who's ever heard of the top Billboard charts? Wait, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You think anybody on the wall has ever bragged about being like <laughs> 30 on the hip hop iTunes charts? <laughs> well, well, that actually doesn't even count because Sebastian lives under the sea, so he probably doesn't even know what that is. And Mulan lived before they were even invented. What's the goal for this one? Are we trying to. Well, we- you know, I don't ever try to figure out life. I just roll with the punches. <laughs> but I will admit that I do have some rough concepts that I, I wrote out. <laughs> well, it's the Andrew. Yeah, the time is fine. Bruce will be all right. Yes. Oh, I like a beat to my 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 thinking. These are song ideas that I thought of. Number one: red flags. Red flags in relationships. How good Chinese food is. It's cheap. It's filling. It's wonderful. Books. That's a song idea right there. Nothing matters, and we are going to all die eventually. Reasonable income. Making reasonable money. Because none of us are ballers, right? None of us are ballers, right? We drive reasonable cars. Uh, yeah, but then the song loses all its validity once it gets to the top of the charts. Oh, and we are and we are driving around with dancers and movie stars and astronauts. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, making or unreasonable income. Listen, those are just a couple ideas. What are you guys thinking? Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be void because when did you come up with these ideas? Uh, just last night! Yeah, well, that's outside the 24 hour window. Oh! Well, we gotta come up with a concept today. How about we just start with a beat, okay? Let's just let the magic happen. We got the whole wall of inspiration right there. I'm looking right at it, so I'll just let something come to me. Yeah? Yeah. Got a Diet Coke in my pocket. I'll take it out. Look, I wasn't lying. Isn't that nice? No, that, that's no good. No one wants to hear about a song about me having a Diet Coke in my pocket. Screw <laughs> <Sure. laughs> No, I think we are. I think we are. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Maybe Caleb could come up with a beat, and then you could come up with the melody, come up with the concept after that. That's a nice idea. Can I get plugged into the speakers? Oh, that, there, that, that's a good idea. Speakers. Now we're moving. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> like, are we wanting just like a trap? I would just start making like a beat, just straight up. Wait, why is that nasty? Ooh! I am a moth. <laughs> I fly around. I am a bug, bitch. I am a bug. I am crawling up down. I am snug up in a little tree because I live in a tree. Yeah, I'm a bug. Do we want to do like hard or do we want to do well, something a little more like light? I think hard. I am a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead. I got a targeted stem like $200. Hey, I love my mom. I miss my mom. I want to buy her a house. Yeah. <laughs> I call my mom on the weekends, yeah. One time I bought her a dress, it was like $400, really. I, th- I think it's gotta be something about money, but a weird take on it. Yeah, it feels um, like we keep on going back to that. $200 is really cool. <laughs> yeah, or like yeah. being just well off enough that you... No, that you aren't scared. That you don't, that you're not scared. Yeah, <laughs> reasonable money. <laughs> Andrew, you are reasonable too. This resonates with you. You oh, get yeah. pissed off at overpriced watermelons. You don't like overpriced watermelons, and this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but you don't like busy parking lots either. And I, I have this qualm against like luxury brands. I get very mad at them. I think they're so silly. Of course. Um, of everything. A $300 couch is the same thing as a, as a $3,000 couch or a $30,000 couch. You well, just... the couch thing isn't true. <laughs> You're sitting on like a $2,000 couch. <laughs> well, but I've had it for years. So what? It's two different conversations. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of expensive, huh? <laughs>
maybe that's that's kind of part of it, making smart investments. Oh. Like, cash at the gas station so that it's ten cents cheaper per gallon. Okay, now I didn't even know that. So you're not only getting entertainment, but you're getting tips too. <laughs> yeah, this is good. So far, I've got tax write-offs and gas tank. Oh, eggs. Eggs are expensive or something, right? Milk's gone up. <laughs> little, little like cha-chings. Little like. <laughs> If we're trying to make a hit song, I think our best shot, because we're not pros. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I wrote down eggs. Okay, no, I can be a pro. God, he's cute. Look at him shine. By the way, future Garrett here. And sure, I'll be popping in from time to time just to guide you through our very messy musical journey. And at this point, yeah, all right, maybe we hadn't struck musical gold just yet, but at least we had something. Maybe we should uh, get the keyboard. Oh, good idea. I'm writing down family size box of Cheez-Its. Hang on. I'll get the keyboard. I'll help out. Oh, that's fine. What was that? That's nasty. What is it? Ooh, play it again a little bit. Ooh. It's got that sort of Olive Garden flow. <laughs> I'm gonna get the keyboard. Okay. I'll be back. Oh god. Oh, hi Andrew. <laughs> keyboard. Also, oh my god, don't film these. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no don't, I, don't. I wasn't. Don't get any tasteful, tiny, microscopic shots teasing what that is. No, I wasn't. I was. It's just a little something I'm working on. Don't worry about it, but don't, don't. Uh, you aren't filming them at all, right? I, I wasn't. Okay, okay, just, just want to make sure, because these are under wraps You're for You're drawing right now. attention to it. No, I'm not. They're under wraps for right now. I'm not trying to draw attention to it. I'm just saying, okay, do not, Andrew. I don't know if you want me to film it or not. I don't know don't what Don't, no more. Stop showing them a little bit. You're kind of actually so, okay, going out of stop, your way to make it stop, obvious that stop you're Stop teasing these. I don't... It's just that, something but... I'm working on. Let's focus on the song, okay? okay? All right. That was so embarrassing. I can't believe you accidentally saw that. Well, you kind of pointed it out. Oh, I mean... Yeah. $200,000 over the course of three years. That's not much. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry, Caleb. I'm here. <laughs> I'll be on the melody. Shant is zero. Oh! <laughs> yeah! I'm alone, I'm alone. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I just keep on repeating I'm alone. But I'm not though, I've got friends. Yeah. Well, last time, the idea of the song and the chorus happened at the same time. Right. So maybe we need to be dialing in on just the chorus first. I like that idea. <laughs> you guys are good with music. I'm, I'm the least musical experienced person in this room. Just don't overthink it. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> What's like a nut? We need to just come up with a string of words that's yes. that taking yo girl to Olive Garden. Yeah. Your girl and someone else's girl. <laughs> can you imagine that? Well, Andrew, you're Andrew. Andrew. Uh, Caleb has to pee. Yeah. Damn, Andrew. Whoa, maybe it's like you you can make yeah. all of your money, but even with my like moderate salary, I still take your girl. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool first lyric that you like you spend your whole life trying to ball. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. That's it. <laughs> who's the artist of the song? Andrew's, Andrew's Tommy. Tommy. Do you guys hear me? Oh, I said, who's the artist of the song? Andrew's, Andrew's Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking up uh, like words that rhyme with ball. Ball. <laughs> oh, ball. <laughs> it's a little cold. I think I need a shawl. You really have the gall. There you go. I'm very tall. I knew you lived in Montreal. What? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, oh, dude, but, okay, you can actually sing. Thanks, King. That's like, we have like two hours to do everything. All right. We'll That's not it. bad. We've done more in last time. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, here's what we have to work with here is that this whole world is about obsessively chasing money when really it's not what makes you happy at all, right? So I like that as a principle. I did like it. So we started to build around this idea. Ooh. This is, a cool, this is the first time that I've kind of been like, oh, okay, this is yeah. kind of like connecting now. Uh -huh. You make a lot, so you think you make a lot. You make a lot, you think you make a lot, you think you're so hot, but no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so I think this is nice. We have about 7% of the song figured out and about an hour and a half left to be pretty much done with it to bring DeBruce to polish up. So does anyone need anything like just in general? Because I feel like we're really onto something and we could take a couple hour break just to kind of, <laughs> well, no, because we- I think we should hone in on this chorus because I think we're getting close. Yeah. I'm just distracting myself. You know, it's classic self-sabotage. I'm on to greatness, so I'm just self-sabotaging. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's keep on going. We got this. So on we went, trying to find the perfect chorus for this money doesn't buy happiness idea. But it just, I don't know, it wasn't sitting right. I, I, I think what was so cool about Now and Baby was just that people had like fun to it. And so I'm almost kind of just stepping back and wondering if like this direction is even that fun. You know what I mean? Or does it just sound like guys kind of- Maybe just cool play song, like... it, we just like rapid fire anything off the top of our heads and anybody can go, oh wait, that, 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 I don't know. <laughs> yep. Lots of background vocals, like... That's fire. <laughs> oh, oh! The pipes right here, man. I told you! Honestly, with the way we were getting into the groove of this, we'd be done with this song in no time. To it. I feel like both of you are holding me back <laughs> from my art. Is it? Is that the waffle mix? No, that's the cheese mix, and I'm wondering what it'll taste like with a little lemon on it. Oof. Don't ooh. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? Oh, shit. I don't know what time it is. You know what? There's technical problems. I can't get the cat back on this pen. <sighs> I, I'm this close to breaking a plate. Wait, whose plate would you break? Yours. What the heck? <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. We can add some drama to the video and do that though. Well, there's already a lot of drama. There's like a ticking clock. We have nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> but we could add more. You are worthless. No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the dismal truth is that at this point, not only was I eating queso cheese and Sour Patch Kids combined, but also it was becoming obvious that this was starting to feel like a failure. <laughs> so we all decided that we were just way too in it and thought we'd take a break to gather our thoughts independently before regrouping. Andrew went on a quick walk and God bless him, Caleb wanted to keep on playing with the beat. And as for me, well, we were at my house, so I just went to my room. <sighs> oh, hello and welcome to my room. Oh God, I hate the light so much. Welcome to my room, which I am only gonna show you hyper-specific angles of because I am way too ashamed of the way that it looks right now. Let's just take a seat on this big degrading pile of laundry that I'm looking at right now and let's take a moment to check in, all right? It is so healthy when you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed or overstimulated to sometimes just step away from a situation for a moment. So I have stolen the camera to take you along with me in my quiet moment because I would like to show you one of my favorite resources that I've ever found in my entire life that is also the eerily appropriate sponsor of today's video, and that is the absolutely incredible meditation app, Headspace. Meditation is such a beautiful, cool, and simple, easy thing. For example, I'll show you exactly what I do with Headspace. Okay, don't, don't try to sneak a peek of my room, okay? I don't wanna talk about it. Thank goodness this particular pile of laundry is high enough that I could perch the camera up on it. That's not great. So listen, this is my little meditation corner in my room that I love. I know it doesn't look like much, but that's the point. Wherever you find peaceful is valid. For me, it's next to my old technology and my skeletons, all right? So I'll post up right here, pull out my phone, go to Headspace and just go to any one of the thousand plus mindfulness and meditation focused pieces of content that they have in there. Whatever I'm dealing with, help with sleep, a little bit of anxiety, it is the one-stop shop for like 
<laughs> feeling, feeling good. My personal favorite section of the entire app is this quick meditations section. I'm very excited about that. This section has over like a hundred plus three to 10 minute quick distressing meditations. And they're very helpful for me. So I just found a quick meditation in here called Finding Calm. That is absolutely what I need right now in order to uh, to tackle the song. Headspace, thank you all so much for existing and also sponsoring this video. If you all want, you can take them up on their incredibly generous offer of a 60 day free trial. That's a long trial. You can use this code right here, Garrett60. We made it nice and easy for you to feel real good in your brain. Again, sign up for a free 60 day Headspace trial today using Garrett60 right there. Thanks Headspace. All right, let's get back in the living room and <laughs> rally the crew together. Knock this bad boy out. We're gonna make a song. It's gonna be great. Okay, let's do this. I'll say definitively that I don't really think the kind of like R&B angle is really what this is. What we started with last time was like just this very like thumpy, like fun song. Maybe try to do what you were doing when we first started. Mm. Wait, why is that nasty? The choir sh**. Yeah, and dude, like, the, the, like if you bring that back, yeah, that's fine. Dude, like that, that, that has to be in it. Like, yeah, that, the, see, this is the direction right here. Even that, okay, yes. Mm. I'm craving Arby's, and I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get it. <gasps> oh man, late night fast food stops. I ordered groceries, they're decaying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not about chicken tender. I mean, I can rap about food all day. <laughs> Yeah. Does that say Matilda? Yeah. That's gonna be in there somewhere. Good. But also, she just inspired me. Oh, is that a horn? Finally, we were going in the right direction. This beat was perfect all along, and Caleb was building it up beautifully. And then suddenly, I had a breakthrough about the song. We've been on a journey with this. It's so funny, I feel like we've almost gone in like five different directions, but for the first time I think I'm really feeling this click. Because, like, just the premise of basically making a song about, like, I love staying in on the weekends and just being like a homebody <laughs> and stuff, and I feel like the world kind of inherently guilts you for that. You open up Instagram and it's all these people on like party buses, but I love it, I don't know. Like, I'm always playing video games and just like enjoying myself or ordering a little takeout. I love chilling. Isn't this cool? Eating snacks, freaking ordering Arby's. I don't think I've ever been to Arby's. Oh my god. <laughs> We should order that. Actually, I think the only time was with you seven years ago. Now that makes sense. <laughs> their cheese sticks, there's none others like them. Yeah. They are so good. They're, they're mozzarella sticks, and I'm a sucker for mozzarella. Everyone knows that. I mean, I think I still have some mozzarella sticks in my pocket. Applebee's I've never been to. You have got to go. I remember the first time I ever ordered when I was a kid was at Applebee's. My mom said, you talk to the waitress, and I was so afraid. I was like, no, I can't do it. No, TGI Fridays. I lied. Okay. But I ordered a Shirley Temple. Okay, who else is craving a Shirley Temple right now? <laughs> you too? Andrew, is your hand up? Andrew, why is your hand up? I think Bruce is waiting, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make a rap song about how we like to just stay inside and not spend all our money at expensive places, huh? Let's hear it. Oh my god, oh, I'm, uh, I'm working on the verse right now. <laughs> <laughs> After all this time, finding this staying inside song idea felt like a huge victory. So we kept chipping away at it. And did we get a little distracted from time to time? Sure, but only for important reasons. But perhaps now, if we could manage to get this rough idea to Bruce in the next half hour, then that would give us just enough time to complete our hit song within 24 hours. So as time went on, we really put our nose to the grindstones because we did have to focus. And that's something that I'm actually really, really bad at. But right now that didn't matter and I had to because we needed to be at Bruce's in the next 30 minutes. I hated my song idea so much, it wasn't working. Um, I think at this point we either need to... Oh, let's just release an already successful song under our name. We got to update. What time is it right now? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's really late. We've just been trying to figure it out. We've, we've, we've come to a hunch and then that hunch turned into a hill and that hill turned into a mountain and then we were in outer space floating around for a long time. We called Bruce and told him that we were going to be late. We knew it was going to be the case. We were being optimistic. We called him. He's totally cool with it. We think. We'll figure it out. It's going to be great. In the next couple minutes, it's been hours. We'll get there. We haven't been looking at the wall of inspiration. I keep on looking to Sebastian for advice, but he's giving me nothing. Can someone run through the, the timeline of song premises that we've had so far? Sure. Song premises. What was it? There's been 
Being frugal. Reasonable money. Staying inside and just kind of hanging out. Like I love staying in on the weekends. There it goes. I am a ghost. <laughs> Before being dead. I am dead. The bugs. My best friend is a bee. Hey. I really like that one, yeah, that's cool. Maybe we need to like make up a word or something. <gasps> well, I mean, we can't come up with any ideas, so we might as well just like make up something that makes no sense. Uh, uh. Oh, well, there's that haunted Dude, that, no wonder why we can't come up with any ideas. You got that haunted painting back there. I'm gonna take that, well, I'll fix it. You're right. I didn't even put her there either. That's what's freaking me out. I had her in the closet, so I think she snuck in last night. You guys think I'm kidding? I'm not. How about the song is, uh, is about us trying to make this song, but we keep getting- uh, Haunted. Yeah, we keep getting haunted and it makes it pop. Well, she's gone now. I might as well. I might as well put her outside. I'm having a great time. <laughs> you start crying. <laughs> we have. Okay. Do, uh, did you hear that click in the other room? That's because I just took that haunted portrait in the other room, who was messing up our whole style. It was her fault. It's not our fault. We're brilliant creatives, and we're gonna figure this out in the next hour, because that's when we need to be at Bruce's. We need to. Otherwise, he's gonna go to bed, and we get no Bruce. And that's not a possibility. And that's not a possibility. But you know what? I like being backed into a corner. It's the only way I can perform. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> uh, I'm not laughing. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing the evolution of just like creative desperation is so funny. Yeah. You just go through the craziest things when you just like can't figure something out. Alright, we don't give a shit anymore. Andrew's gonna sing about whatever that he wants. Caleb's gonna sing out sing about whatever he wants, and guess what the song is gonna be called? It's gonna be called Grapes, because who cares? Oh wait, that all the full circle moment. Earlier. Flashback. Big old grapes. Oh the grapes! Oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. But imagine a song called Grapes. If I saw a song called Grapes, guess what I'd do? I'd play it eight times. Probably 17. So we'll, let me get this straight. What's happened here is we tried so hard to find an idea for a song that we eventually realized it would be impossible to come up with an idea. So now we're just making like what? Abstract art? Another way to put this is that the power of Now I'm a Baby was so immense that there's nothing that can hold a candle to it. But well, let's see what happens when we produce Grapes. <laughs> I, I, I didn't expect a laugh. But just you wait, Grapes is gonna be the biggest hit ever since Ed Shireen and Ariana Grande combined. Just to be clear, we can't really make the song about grapes and we have to not make sure it's not no, no, about no, grapes. No, no, it's just called it's grapes. It's not about grapes. Right, but that's the whole point. Well, maybe I'll say something about sipping a little wine. Oh, maybe. Ooh, that would be fun. We were supposed to be at Bruce's five hours ago. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Well, it's just the truth. Okay, so we were supposed to be at Bruce's five hours ago and I was supposed to graduate high school. I think you graduated high school. By the skin of my teeth. Why are we talking about the high school? It doesn't matter. Let's just get to the grapes. Oh. Oh, is that Bruce? No, he's gonna be mad. The inevitable. Oh God. No. I don't know what we say. Hi, Bruce. This is going objectively badly. <laughs> really bad. Andrew's currently working on a verse that includes the Marriott, I think, and I'm working on a verse that includes my desire to have, like, the Halloween Town franchise returned. I currently have a line about a burglar with acne. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to figure out the correlation. Well, there's no correlation. No, 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 no correlation. It's <laughs> we, it's but we've, we've convinced ourselves that there's, like, something positive about that. There's... I know, I know, I know what... I know. Look at him. Bruce, is it is it possible, like, can you salvage this? Can you help? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are burnt out, you need a you need a little bruiser energy. Oh yeah. Whoa! Maybe Bruce is just the secret ingredient that we need. <gasps> I need a coffee. Let's have the coffee. Maybe we just come over to you even though we're unprepared. Also, I'll bring you anything you want. Anything. Anything? <laughs> like Anything. Well, <laughs> Bruce, we might just bring this mess to you because why not? Like, at this point, why not? That's my job. Well, this is like 77 metric tons of nothing, so we'll bring it to you. Then a ton of nothing. Well, you're well, getting, we just, you're you're just said it was a bunch of second nothing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is gonna suck for everyone. We'll see you soon. That's what I say. Yeah. All right, Bruce. I love you. I'll see you soon. Love you. Th Bye. Thanks for saying yes. it. Thanks for saying it back. Wow. Me and Bruce. <laughs> oh, I think that was just sort of. A Who'd have thought? No, 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 no. I. Mr. Wigner. Mm -hmm. Have a headache. <laughs> They're, look, they are all so disappointed in us. <laughs> Not one of them is proud. Honestly, like, we're slap happy a little bit right now, but I think the only thing to do right- Caleb, do not! What is that? Not inside! 
The rage plates are for outside only. Wait, and who are you even mad at right now? Wait. No, don't do it at night. Someone's gonna think it's a broken window and call the cops. So we only had a specific window of time where we could break plates? Who are you even mad at? Don't do it. Okay, he's not gonna do it. Hey. Oh my. You watch it. Don't do it. Oh my god. If you drop that plate, I will call the, the fire department. Don't. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. What were you saying? I was just gonna say, um, there is nothing else that we can do right now. Our brains are over. We need to just go to Bruce. We need yeah. to just go to Bruce. Maybe he could help us. Totally agree. You learn that I have a really weird ritual every time I leave my house. See you soon, okay, baby? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you oh, know. sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we were hopeless. And if this song was gonna happen at all, we needed Bruce. Well, well, well. We really need your help. Like, bad. It's so bad. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, Bruce. Open up. <laughs> hey, who had an EP come out today? <laughs> Big old handsome guy right here. Oh, that is my... Okay. Is Bruiser. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bruiser. Yeah, yeah. You okay, you're really messing up your promo here. <laughs> <laughs> it's out now! Oh, Dude, good it's good to see you, brother. So, like, we add this sort of, like, reality TV drama music to this, you know? That oh. kind of idea? Sure. Okay. So, I don't know if Bruce is going to be able to handle something like this. Sure. He's a big rock star producer, Katy Perry. Bring a book. I don't think he can handle us. We were just, we were just like begging for his help though, I don't know what that means. It's just for the video. Uh, Bruce, actually we are very sorry to be so late. Yeah, I'm <laughs> good. Well, you said you're, you're this big guy, you were probably making albums before we even got here, like seriously. Wait, what, what it you was like, s making out. Is that what you said? No, I'm making albums, Bruce. Oh, I'm making albums, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're probably just making, making out, out here, huh? I just saying sorry. <laughs> I was just saying sorry about being here so late and also coming here with less than nothing. No, you gave me a coffee. Oh, <gasps> I called you handsome too. You did. That's true. <laughs> What's your Wi-Fi? We'll bleep it. <laughs> what do we got? So we told Bruce about how we just could not settle on a good song idea. There were like so many concepts. <laughs> and then it was like, wait, is it about being frugal or is it about staying inside? So I, kinda so I told him how frustrating this was for us and how it wasn't clicking. But what he was about to tell us would change everything. Ah, you know, and the baby one just unfolded so quickly. And so Did I think, it though? Well, or you think I'm romanticizing it? Yes, I, I was just gonna use that word. I think you're romanticizing the after fact because I remember <gasps> you guys having to write everything there. Really? And then when you, you, I was like, let me just edit it, whatever. And then you came back in and you're like, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. So. And you worked with the best. So Caleb handed to Bruce what we had, which was just a beat. And if he didn't like that, we had to start over from scratch. Based on this exact face, it was a little hard to tell if he liked it, but we were remaining optimistic. Oh. He just pukes. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, thank God, what a relief. What is the, what are you hung up on? Everything. Like the concept. <laughs> now I'm a baby was sent to us through the gods. The <laughs> angels of music. And the gods didn't favor us tonight. Even when I texted that one time, I was like, I think we got something now. And then they were like, nah, not really. And then it just kind of came around to us making a song that we think will be called Grapes about like nothing. <laughs> I, I, I wish I was lying. I, I want to know what. Well, how, how's it about grapes and nothing? Well, okay. It's not about grapes. It's, not about grapes. it's called grapes. It's, yeah. No, it has nothing to do with uh, but, but There could be some of the good lyrics about grapes in there. Can you, can, can, you, can you put that in? Oh, sorry, I was reaching for the cookie, wasn't I? Yeah, I just was picking it, the mic was picking uh, it up. Oh, yeah, I, I wasn't even, I didn't even <laughs> want it. The cookies, ugh. I mean, you're just grabbing it. So, yeah, <laughs> no, no, it just, um, yeah, it just didn't work out for us, Bruce. But that's what it's like, you know. <laughs> you work with like a, a bunch of musicians, isn't this how it goes sometimes? Yeah. If we were normal, we'd just go, oh, you know what? The writing session didn't really work out today. Let's meet back up tomorrow, fresh in the morning. Or we're doing a 24 hour challenge. We're all like kind of sleepless, like buzzing on coffee, frustrated, uh, uh, but that's a challenge. Yeah. The, the idea's right there. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, so get those fingers a little further apart. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, how far can you fingers go? <laughs> yeah, let's use the other, yeah. Okay. Here's what I would say. Let's f around. Let's yeah. have some fun. Oh. We'll 
toss the mic around. Bruce talked us through how to get out of the funk and deal with writer's block. We were in good hands with him. He was going to guide us the rest of the way to our hit song. <laughs> um, okay, so what... <laughs> After all that, what do we do? <laughs> he just goes to bed. <laughs> well, I mean, how long would it take you to brucify the yeah. grapes? Yeah, how long would it take you to brucify the grapes? <laughs> now was the time for Bruce to work his magic, for him to make our potential future hit song come to life. Because if anybody could do it, Bruce could. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds like a bug sneaking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to get that. Oh! <laughs> I mean, oh! <laughs> 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 There's something funny about just going so hard like this. Birds are so cool. Uh, uh, I love him. <laughs> Bro is dialed. There wasn't much time, so while Bruce was spicing up our beat, I was desperately trying to come up with this song concept before it was too late. This song could be about a bunch of rich ghosts that spend a lot of money. That's funny. Yeah. Because ghosts can get through bank walls, everyone knows that. But they can't obtain the actual physical sure. money. <laughs> Gosh damn. Bruce is bruising. And of course Bruce was absolutely killing it and restoring our faith. That was so cool. That like break you put in there. F off. What? Sorry. Maybe he's just about having the most money in the world. <laughs> just like <laughs> Jeff Bezos, like has not like just is pathetic. I was really coming up with some solid ideas. I mean, really carrying the group. <laughs> Wait, what? A song called Teenage Swag. What about it? It's about hanging out at the mall and having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Like the teens do. Do teens still hang out at the mall? Hitting the gritty. <laughs> legal name is Scooby Doo. Everything's great, Andrew. How many boards have you wrote on? So many, and then I erase them, and I take photos, and I erase them, and I take photos, and I erase them, and I take photos. And then I've got absolute fire on this one about buying two yachts. This uh, the song is called Two Yachts. <laughs> it's called Grapes. <laughs> While I was trying to come up with lyrics, Bruce was putting his final touches on the instrumental. Starbucks. <laughs> Dude, that's fire as shit. Sorry for cussing on the Gary Watts channel. That's okay. <laughs> At this point, because of this man and his magic fingers and his beautiful brain. You hear that, Bruce? We're now living in eyelashes. Okay, too. hey, take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. He's mine. We are now living in like a much more like fun, realized space. Working title grapes. We'll see where it goes. Okay. Is that still the working title? Uh, it, have you guys had cotton candy grapes? I have. I freeze them and I eat them. They're crazy. I love them. Anyways, we're closer and feeling better about this. Maybe we make it happen after all. The twenty-four hour thing. Don't ask what time it is. <laughs> And we're back. <clears throat> what time is it? You don't want to know. <laughs> it's it's late. It might even technically be early in the morning at this point. Mm -hmm. But we're still in the 24 hours, baby. I think that right now we find a great idea to go in on, and we just freaking put some like disgusting, nasty bars over this song, and then it becomes a hit. And we get trophies. What's the prescription, Bruce, for trying to expedite the songwriting process? What do you hand over me the microphone and just let me spit? Yes! Do you know what you're gonna sing? Or rap? No, none of us do! Well, maybe that would help. Maybe it would help yeah. for someone let's to just do that. Maybe we'll help Freestyle me. it out. Yeah, to be put in the position of freestyling it out. My entire life I work best when, like, backed into a corner, seriously. Like, deadlines, last minute, right. last second. You know what? I'm just gonna say, whatever comes out of your mouth is gonna make it onto the final recording. <laughs> right. I don't know about this. <laughs> it's kinda nice. Yeah, you like can't think about it now. I can't think about it. Just have to do it. I'm not n -n 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 nervous. <laughs> wow, this is cool. <laughs> hey folks, Bed Bath & Beyond will be closing in approximately 33 minutes. Is that auto-tune? Yeah. Oh, I don't use that. Is it auto-tune? <laughs> 
Right now, was I terrified and self-conscious and did I have absolutely nothing? Yes, to both of those things. Very broke, but like, now I got some money. I got something, okay? <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. I'll put the camera down. <laughs> Sorry. Just... That's what I was thinking. We do no camera, and ah. then you just freestyle. So that's what we did. We started freestyling in hopes that we would stumble across something, anything, to find the spark for our song. Because remember, we still do not even have a song concept. Yeah, because you could even just find one thing in there. One thing. Yeah. One word even. It's like, oh, so... yeah. It... And then we stopped because that was giving us nothing. So new plan. We were each going to have our own little writing sessions, write down anything we had in our brains, and then pitch them to the group, praying that somebody had anything that could move this forward. I'm doing fine. Is that going, Andrew? Yeah. Now let me tell you what's happening right now. It's almost, this, I'll say, I'll put it like this. I just went outside to catch a little bit of fresh air and I kind of saw the sun peeking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be bright soon. Anyways, we were sitting here, we were trying to freestyle. It wasn't really working that well. Don't tell my secrets. Don't tell my secrets. Don't tell my secrets. <laughs> and so we all just took a moment, looped the song, what, 20 times? and just came up with ideas. Now, would you like to hear mine? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It sounds kind of silly, but it's really simple. So it's like, the future is um, scary. It's very uncertain and strange what's gonna happen. Is this a bar or just a concept? It's a concept, oh. but there's, there's, <laughs> no, no, I just, it's just like the future being kind of like, like an unknown mysterious place. But yes. for now, like you're having fun. Like you're- This idea was not clicking even for me as I was saying it out loud. So we were desperately hoping that Caleb had something. So I just have like little chunks of of the thing. So I have, what's that? Why are you screaming at me? You're breaking in and out like a burglar with acne. Because burglars, they break in. But acne, break, break out. That's cool. <laughs> um, I ain't never been a debtor. I grew up in the Presbyterian church. Uh, <laughs> what happened to that? You're a loser with no cheddar. Oh, they don't. I was cooking up the beat, but then Bruiser made it better. Oh! Oh my God! That's, that's so nasty. Cool. That is the best thing I've ever heard. No matter what happens, that has to be in there. Like, uh, and then. Wait, was something happening here? Were we actually finding something for once? Okay, I got racks. Fine. Das facts. Ooh. Take the elevator up to see the top of my stacks. <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness! I mean, I feel like it's gonna be bad money because all I have is just like the same exact stuff. Oh, like money stuff? Just, just empty, just, just like, nonsensical, yeah. braggadocious, and yeah. just you know. nonsensical and braggadocious. My God! The pieces were starting to connect. This song had been coming together right under our noses the whole time, and none of us even realized it. Who making unreasonable income? You just go the opposite way, and it's just bragging about just having so much money. Maybe it's just about having the most money in the world. <laughs> Was it terrible and did it contradict almost every single idea we had for the song in this video? Yeah, but it was feeling weirdly correct. Andrew shared what he had come up with and then coincidentally, all of Andrew's bars were about cosmically flexing on the entire world with money that none of us had. Um, something about an espresso martini. Ooh, Ooh I finally have I do, one. if I were to drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. <laughs> so I can't film anymore because my arms, they gave out like an hour ago. So I think what we're gonna do is Bruce is going to loop the rap portion of the beat. So this was it, no more fooling around. We finally found it. And even though it made no sense, it also made the most sense in the world. Because if I'm being honest, money to me is very scary and intimidating. I've been so afraid of money my whole life. And it's so something about the idea of rapping from the perspective of a person who somehow has so much of it that they make Jeff Bezos seem broke seemed to incredibly cathartic and fun. So at an ungodly hour and with all of us so tired that we were literally hallucinating, we continued on. Because even though none of us are ballers, because none of us are ballers, right? We had officially decided this was the song. And since my food and energy station was several miles away and we hadn't eaten in several hours, we did something that really got us in the mindset of having the most money in the world. We ordered like $48 worth of greasy diner food from Denny's. Then after that was sitting very uncomfortably inside of us, we got back to the song. <laughs> What's the time? 
The time is like, okay, I'll tell you the real time. 5.34. Oh, 5.34 in the morning. Yeah. Everyone's getting ready for breakfast and here we are. It doesn't feel a minute over. So we just had Denny's. <laughs> we had Denny's, we had breakfast. I can't believe I forgot. Well, yeah, I didn't have breakfast. Guess what I had sausage and, and guess what I had sausage and eggs. I feel like right now we're at a place where we have something and we're mildly self-conscious about it and we're gonna see what happens when we say it into a microphone. I have a little something here. I might goof it up because it's kind of kind of difficult because everything is for me. Sorry, I'm just don't cry. <laughs> but I'll, I'll try to spit it a little. You can play the song so I can, yeah. Two, one, two, three. I had a dream I bought a yacht. So I bought a yacht, then I bought another yacht, now I have two yachts. I'm never cold or hot, I'm just a guy with two yachts. <laughs> yeah, he bought two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like that. He bought, yeah, he, he got two. And then I continue into this, yeah. Your whole personality is based on having two yachts. <laughs> that's really yeah, fun. that's pretty much crazy. Yeah. I'm so nervous. Dude, my whole one. Okay, I was like, two. Because yeah. yeah. I got that Bruce Wayne money, that Lady Crawley loot, that Willy Wonka drip in a Burberry suit. You got that <laughs> Early bucket bank, no capital or rank, so here to take a billion on one of my yachts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Did you see Willy Wonka drip? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, so, I heard Willy sorry. Wonka drip. <laughs> so it's like, you got that Charlie Bucket bank, no capital or rank, so here, take a billion. Or one of my yachts. So, <laughs> that's so good. Dude. Charlie Bucket is the like the kid who's, you know, in Willy Wonka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Charlie in the chocolate factory. Yeah, that can't, afford, <laughs> that can't even afford a chocolate bar. I didn't know his last name was Bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Charlie Bucket bank, which is nothing. So it's Charlie Bank. No, it's Charlie Bucket is his name. <laughs> oh, but he, but but he's that's the well. There's a duality a, to it that Charlie Bucket Bank implies. You got oh it. right right right. Because Charlie bank, Bucket right, is right. the guy who ends up getting anyway. So I don't mean to overexplain. That's what I got. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <That's, laughs> can you like, take that like, camera audio yeah. and send that to me? I'm glad that this just works like at all. Um, yes, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> but if, how are you guys feeling? I feel great about yeah. that. Okay. I don't know. I'm just so excited. I'm so glad that this is coming together. <laughs> I was. So Yes. Yeah. That's Whoa. So good. Wait, yeah. how long have we actually been doing this at this point? Like yeah, when did you 15 guys... hours straight? We... I showed up yeah. at like 11. <laughs> and we stopped. I've never drank more caffeine in my life, and that's a fact. Oh, no, look, it's crazy. I'm actually. Well, I think maybe things are coming together because we're starting to hallucinate and we're like getting more creative. <laughs> we all haven't done anything. We've just been, <laughs> we've been sitting here drooling for the past three hours. <laughs> Daddy's was the trick, I think. I know. I honestly feel like I feel great. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a Denny's brand deal. They're not paying us. <laughs> Like I feel like the moves over Miami were just like the way to do it. Okay, guys, I'm thinking Denny's. <laughs> oh, you think what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Denny's. <laughs> What's Denny's slogan? Uh, I'm thinking Denny's. <laughs> Seventy A's. <laughs> I like us having so much fun. Everyone else clicking away. <laughs> I'm sitting to watch a Mr. Beast video or something. <laughs> I love that you think anybody's still watching. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody made it past grapes, I don't know. <laughs> oh, remember yeah. grapes? Oh. Wait, isn't somebody in Willy Wonka like a like a blueberry or something? There is a big blueberry girl in Willy Wonka. Big old blueberry. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. We're just gonna we're just gonna jump in and figure this out. Violet's turning violet. <laughs> That's what it is. Violet's turning violet. So with a verse I felt pretty good about, it was time to lay it down. And because the end of the 24 hours was getting dangerously close, it was do or die, and I needed to nail this perfectly for us to finish the rest of the song in time. You had what? I had a dream. What was it about? <laughs> I had a dream about a yacht. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another yacht. Now I have two yachts. Yeah, but I, have a dream I don't even know. Where, I don't even know where I am. Anymore. You know, I did my best. It went well. I think. I don't know. You can be the judge of it when you hear the final song. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I want to try that, but like harder. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. like this is this character. By the time I wrapped up my verse, it wasn't even that late. We had plenty of time. Actually, hang on. There's parking right there. Yeah, I'll just re-park that, right? Oh, what, what time is it now? Andrew. I was just noticing, it looks like there's a little bit of sun out there. No, 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 it was a street light, powerful. They make those street lights so powerful nowadays. No, I mean, I can I can tell the difference oh. between a sunrise. Okay, and... I'll let you take a good hard look and you tell me. Okay, what you'd see for yourself. Okay. 
with the street light. Jeez Louise. Alright. I gotta go move my truck. Not because <laughs> not because it says I have to move it by 6 a.m. or anything, just because I wanna move it. Because trucks need to move. <laughs> So now it was time for Caleb to record his verse. It's fine, it definitely wasn't the morning, and everyone was wide awake. <laughs> the boy's dead. <laughs> the boy's dead. Really? Your eyes are like barely open. Oh. <laughs> it is 7.20 in the morning. Who's <laughs> <laughs> so excited, Caleb? <laughs> Sorry. That was bad. That was bad. Red rolling, so into the sky. Caleb killed it, and this was going beautifully. And for the first time in a very long time, this song seemed possible. Ah, it is both fun. Jeez. Honestly, that's, that's pretty hard. <laughs> but we needed to move fast. Andrew, I can hear people going to work out there. Oh, no, no. I just saw a woman walk by the window walking her baby in the morning. That sucks. We need to go to bed. <laughs> But we're doing the challenge. I think we're gonna make it, Andrew. <clears throat> Seriously. Let's go. Chris. Chris. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Seems like Bruce is being a real jerk. Caleb. He has headphones in. Andrew, it's video drama for the video. You gotta get the people talking. You gotta create tension. <clears throat> He's ignoring you. <laughs> hey, Bruce. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? What's been going on? What time is it? Oh well, well, it looks like the king of gaslighting and manipulation is back. <laughs> <laughs> it was like doing so much for us, sacrificing his schedule. So I've been writing a fire uh, course that I'd sick. like to share. So it's uh, <laughs> Stone Peaks. I, I don't know if it makes sense, but it's like deer peaking. It's like, I got money. I got God money, stacked so high that it ain't even funny. Net worth is infinity. I am the epitome of t t disposable income. <laughs> so that's the name of the song. Something like that. Yeah. That's okay. pretty fire. I like, oh, thanks, I like net worth is infinity. That's yeah, well, there because there, there's no amount. <laughs> 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 That'll be like a you fun. You have like a natural like auto tune in your voice. It's really Thanks. great. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> that you ever say it. <laughs> I like take this in too much. I can't count money. Y'all wanna try to lay down right now? I gotta like sit up. I mean, we're, we gotta keep going. <laughs> I'll try it. So I recorded my course idea. Then it was time for the legend, who no offense to myself or Caleb, 1000% had the best verse on Now I'm a Baby. How about the worm, hop in the jet. And it was time for him to go back in. And at this point, we had heard nothing from his verse yet. Check, check, check. Your salary, I just blew on some truffle pasta. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew wrapped up his verse and y'all don't even understand. Good God, is it great. Yo, Dude, God. that last one, the way I got up. Oh so my good God. It's called grapes. Yeah, dude, it like all comes together. <laughs> we listened back to a piece of it. On a ski slope, shush, miss. <laughs> Somehow, we did it. We actually recorded all of our parts and had just a couple more hours of work to do on the song. After 20 hours of working on this song, there was finally a light at the end of the tunnel and we were about to finish this. But there was just one problem. So I had forgotten that two years ago, I purchased a ticket to Rome. I had totally forgotten about that until I got a notification about it from the airlines on my phone. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. So I had to leave immediately to start packing, which means that we 100% failed the 24-hour challenge. Sorry, boys. We'll still finish the song, but you know when I'm back in America. Okay, sorry. I'm in like the Vatican, so I have to be kind of quiet, but if that's not Bruce saving the song, I don't know what is. <laughs> God. It looks like she's judging us so hard for failing the whole 24 hours thing. Okay, so we failed, but we're like 70% there. We'll finish it, and that's all that matters, right? It's gonna be great. And will it be better than Now I'm a Baby? Potentially. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't have to be better than Now I'm a Baby, huh? Maybe it could do its own thing. I wonder what the song title will be. 
Um, one thing I'm certain of is I definitely don't care if it's like a hit or not. You know, like a hit song. That's just a cool title. <gasps> you know what the most important thing is? It's having fun. <gasps> Sorry, I'm back in my little Rome Airbnb and the weirdest vibe is coming from downstairs. It's not that kind of video. <laughs> it's not that I'm scared, it's just not that kind of video. It's a video about making a song, okay? Anyways, point is, it's just having fun in the process. And that's what we're doing. We might have failed, but we're having fun. <laughs> that's what I've been doing my whole life. <laughs> Hurry, elevator. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine, this is fine. I feel like I'm gonna die in this elevator, but I'm fine. Really excited to get back to Los Angeles and to finish it. It just free falls right now. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, please get out me out of it, the elevator. Look at that. Just a normal little Airbnb. <laughs> Eight K cameras in his eyeballs. I just know it. Oh God. It is very cold. Oh! Oh! Well. And <laughs> that's a fun thing to learn about this Airbnb. <laughs> 12K, I swear. It's getting, it's going up in resolution. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. <sighs> so I'll be back in Los Angeles in one week to finish the song, even though we failed. We're gonna have fun. I don't care if it's a hit. I love it. It's gonna be a great song. Yeah, cause you know what? Making music is fun. I'm no musician, obviously, but it's really, really, really fun to do, especially with these guys. And who knows, maybe I'll get really good at rapping and become what, a rap star performing at the Grammys in front of all the Super Bowl? Wow. <laughs> I'm excited to get back and finish it. Uh. I just realized I want to go find pizza. But yeah, anyways, see you in a week. Back at Bruce's studio. Quit looking at me over there. Just stop for once. I, I, I've had enough. Here. <laughs> Is it that yeah. recording? Yeah, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm um, sorry. It's, it's a very, very long trip back from Rome. Back at Bruce's, back into the studio. You guys ready to knock this out? More importantly, does anyone have any questions about Rome, the Colosseum, anything? <laughs> all right, let's get into Bruce's and, <laughs> and get the song all, all wrapped up. <laughs> oh, hello, boy. Hey, Bruce. It's a family. How have you been over the past week? Everything good? It's been great. Do you have, have you guys been? Good. Do you have any questions about Rome? Any questions about Rome? Rome. Oh, no one even cares that I went to Rome. <laughs> oh yeah, how was Rome? <laughs> I don't want to talk about Rome. I want to talk about making a hit song. And that's what we did. For the next few hours, we put the final touches on our soon-to-be hit song. And since we had already failed the challenge, yeah, sure, maybe we took some extra time to add some special sauce. All right. So funny. When I laid down the course, I was so self-conscious that I made even my closest friends wait outside while I recorded. Garrett's recording the chorus. It's been like 30 minutes. Yeah, it's hot out here. Bruce was working his magic, because if this was going to be a hit song, it needed to sound truly radio worthy. I'm talking crispy, clean, great. Or at least, you know, as good as possible, considering who he was working with. That's me out. I love that pose. And we were all geeked as hell hearing some of the absolutely insane things Bruce was doing with the song. We were very, very into it. In fact, I think we were absolutely shocked at how it was turning out. Andrew was ad-libbing, Caleb was laying down harmonies, and even I had a little idea for the end of the song of singing a little gospel moment. And you know what? Even though I'm self-conscious about singing in front of people, I just laid it down in front of the boys. And shockingly, and I mean shockingly, they were really feeling what I did. In fact, Andrew rushed to grab his phone and caught the tail end of it. The tone of your voice, people could train for years and not even touch oh, that. Oh, dude, stop it. That's, That's what I've been saying, bro. I missed it, but I got, but I, but I put the phone out the last second. <laughs> You'll hear it in the final song, but I just gotta tell you, when Bruce played it back for me. Oh my God. 
I was and still am legitimately confused at how that was my voice. That's me? That's you? Am I like a pretty... I... Oh my god. Alright. Flashback to every time we've been doing this. I'm like, dude can sing! Dude, but okay, you can actually sing. Did I do something? And after an accumulated 28 hours or so of work, an unexpected trip across the world, a lot of hopelessness, and a lot of hope, and a lot of absolutely aimless flexing for no reason, finally. And for the first time ever, we were about to listen to our new song. Enjoy. Okay, so um, it's been a minute, <laughs> and, uh, and I suppose we're about to hear the final version, boys. How are we feeling about this? We've been rapping. We've been laying down fire. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it goes, but let her rip. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hit play. <laughs> we thought you were good at this. <laughs> Apparently, I had this, like, aunt who passed away who was, I guess, like, very, very wealthy. And for some reason, she left everything to me. Like, I'm getting bored spending money. Like, I, I, I spent a billion dollars the other day, and it was actually boring. <laughs> I had a dream I bought a yacht. So I bought a yacht, then I bought another yacht. Now I have two yachts. I'm never cold or hot. I'm just a guy with two yachts. Wait. What, why'd he buy two? Cause I got that Bruce Wayne money That Lady Crawley Luke Got the Willy Wonka drip In a Burberry suit You got that Charlie Bucket bank No capital or rank So here, take a billion Or one of my yachts Charlie Bucket is the, like the kid Who's Charlie in the chocolate factory Yeah, they can't even afford a chocolate bar. Bucket bank, so it's Charlie Bank Well, there's a duality to it Charlie bank, Bucket right, right. is the guy who ends up getting Anyways, I don't mean to over-explain Rip rolling, soaring through the sky Flying high like a body Stop dancing on a loop like they're playing Viscarati I got racks and that's facts Take my golden elevator to the top of my stack I ain't never been a debtor You a loser with no cheddar I was cooking up the beat but then Bruiser made it better <laughs> What's that? What you screaming at me? You're breaking in and out like a burglar with acne Don't at me, it'll stay on red Meanwhile, R.I.P. You've been typing on your deathbed Shaking my head, shaking my head You ought to call me Peter the Great The way I'm making my bread You poor kid You looking like you've never been fed And what's worse You have little to no credit You own head I got money I got God money I got stacks so high That it ain't even funny And worth is infinity I am the epitome of Disposable income I got money I got God money I got stacks so high That it ain't even funny And worth is infinity I am the epitome you in Southwest, back row, middle seat, oh no I got espresso, martinis on a net jet Call me Mr. To-Do, it's the way I get the check, 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 check Three years salary, I just blew that on some truffle pasta I ain't even finished, call me Erwan Cafe The way I got the spinach You can't do nothing, need to call for help Your back hurt from grabbing bottles on the bottom shelf Only wine in my system is the Napa Valley grapes Took your girl to Rockefeller, holding hands while we skate No room in the safe, I deposit what I make I make so much money, it's confusing to the bank Park city with your girl on a ski slope sh 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 Mess with the scrub, I shoot us in your bushes Just found a check in my cushion It's your life savings Bank statements crazy, my CPAs need vacations I should confuse you I'm not like most I am spooky, I pull up in that ghost Final thoughts, final thoughts. Oh, I'm sweating and I'm tired. Was it cool? Yeah, it's <laughs> oh. oh my god, you're sweating. Yeah, I got sweat in my eye and I've had a little bit of a cold, which is why, sorry I had this weird toilet paper, it's a crime scene tape. Yeah.
What did you, what did you, I'm speaking to the viewer. Did you think it was cool? I don't know. Do you guys think it was cool? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> I love it for making a song in what, like an accumulated like like 30 sp two yeah, hours? Yeah, 30, 30. We're all right. 32. Doesn't quite have the ring to it. It's 24. <laughs> all right. I already talked about failing. I don't need to be reminded of my failures, mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. My mom's great. Um. All right. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> all right. We did it. <laughs> And then there's like a sound effect over it. Oh. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We have to go eat. True. Let's go. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Grapes, and then in parentheses, disposable income. Streaming literally everywhere that, mu that, that you can stream music. I think, unless I messed it up, which I probably did. I don't know. But go see if you can find it on the streaming services. By searching Garrett Watts or Grapes Disposable Income, you know how to find things. Oh, and again, the album cover looks like this, which I actually made myself using assets from my broken old CD collection. So stream it, have fun with it, send it to strangers. Learn the rap, sing along with it, film your cats or dogs or grandmas listening to it. Or maybe with your friends. And if you do, tag me so I can see it. I'm at Garrett underscore Watts on every platform. Anyways, I sure do hope you enjoyed the product of our kind of failed challenge. But who knows, it could still be a hit, okay? If you stream it. And would you look at that? My God, two whole songs. Watch your back, the Beatles, and the whole rap game. <laughs> no, y'all have nothing to worry about. But anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks to Headspace for sponsoring this video. And of course, thanks so much to my boy, Andrew Sowicki, and Caleb Hurst, and Bruce Wigner for joining me for this psycho experiment. Personally, I loved it. I love the process. I love making music with those boys. And oh my God, would you stop looking at this? I'm up here, and I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> All right, in the comments, please tell me your favorite song right now, because I love music, and I'm going to listen to as many of them as humanly possible. My favorite song right now is It's a Rap, by Mariah Carey. I cannot stop listening to it. I'm obsessed. But you tell me yours, please. Okay. Oh my god. Now I am gonna go fall asleep for two actual weeks <coughs> straight. Stream grapes if you want. Bye, let me see you. I had a dream I bought a yacht. So I bought a yacht. Then I bought another yacht. Now I have two yachts. I'm never cold or hot. I'm just a guy with two yachts. Wait, what? Why'd he buy two? Cause I got that Bruce Wayne money. That Lady Crawley Luke got the Willy Wonka drip in a Burberry suit.